I don't know if I can show, but I just watched the funniest clip of Donald Trump introducing uh, RFK. <laughs> and it's like, there goes my hero. All jokes aside, though, we're here to talk about something far more serious about the future of mankind. Phineas and Ferb, one of the greatest freaking shows you'll ever have the pleasure of watching. If you didn't grow up with this stuff, you missed out. You know what I mean? I mean, there's food, necessity, there's water. You know, you, you probably need your diapers changing. But if you were not shown Phineas and Ferb, you don't turn out right. You don't turn into a normal human being. And trust me, when I say this, I have mates who were not allowed to watch shows like this. And they are just weirdos. You know what I mean? They are doing nothing positive or nothing good with their life. Now, I'll just say that Phineas and Ferb, what a show. Creating goo monsters, you know, destroying the world and then fixing it. Perry the Platypus, Platy Platypus, <laughs> Perry the Platypus on James Boddle, James Bond-esque missions, you know, flying, soaring through the sky. How did he get on that roof? Well, if he got up there, he can probably get down. But I have to show you this monstrosity. You will not believe what Disneyland is doing. So Disneyland California, known for its, you know, I don't know what. Disneyland's known for in California. Look, but Disneyland Co California, I can't speak. I just cannot speak. Disneyland California. First look at Dr. Doofenshmirtz for Disneyland California. Look at this dude right here. When I pictured Dr. Doof in the flesh, a real, I mean, I appreciate he's got a bit of a, a vertical forehead. He's got a fresh trim that, you know, looks like a Brussels sprout on his head or certainly a, a, a piece of broccoli sprouting and this is what they think he looks like IRL I mean what the hell is that this man looks terrible has he got a massive wart in it as well he ain't got no wart Dr. Doofenshmirtz look there's the whole gang holy hell I don't remember what she's for what was she for is that Ferb's girlfriend anyway whatever this stuff was imagine having to dress up like that as your job I'm going to go to California just so I can squeeze this guy's top of his head out. I want to know what's under there, bro. Do you think it's prosthetic? I think there's a 50-50 chance. I think that it genuinely could have been breeding this guy since he was, I don't know, six months old to one and one job only. And that one job was to look like this guy. They probably wrapped his head round, you know, with a thousand bandanas, fed it, fed him. And it just went up and up and up and yeah. The hair, hair doesn't look the finest of quality, but I suppose when you've got a forehead the size of Jupiter, it's, uh, you know, how, how your hair's looking ain't going to save you, is it? You know, we could maybe brush it down and hide it, but I, I don't think you'd get away with it. You know what I mean? It's like when they have that massive bald spot on top of their head and they just brush it forward. It's like, dude, we can still see it. Everyone can see it. You know what I mean? Just let free. Free, free the head. Free the head. I'm trying to remind myself of Phineas and Ferb. Let's see who's in it. Yeah, I don't know any of them. Uh, oh, he was in it. He's Ferb. I suppose that's got to be the easiest gig ever, isn't it? Well, does Ferb say anything? I think he. I think he says a word in one one film. I recognise her. Oh, High School Musical, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Damn. Damn. What a throwback that is. Sweet Life on Deck. I used to love. Sweet life of Zack and Cody. Holy shiz. What's this guy doing and what's this guy doing? They look so similar. I, f I thought one of them was in... Yeah, one's in Riverdale. See, I'm not even going to get into that because who knows which one was who. You know, you can't work it out these days. They look like identical twins. I'm convinced they were bred for one thing and one thing only as a young age as well. Disney stardom. Dude, get it. It's like Vought. Get in the factory. We need little kids being produced. Or four. We need Doofenshmirtz IRL. Just you wait. Build his forehead. And we need two twins. That's what these fuckers did. Oh my god. I love this guy. What's he doing these days? Oh, he's, he's retired. He, he's, he's MIA. Fair dues. Oh my god. Hey, Jesse. What a throwback this is. Oh my god, I remember these shows. What's she do anymore? Nothing. She's Radio Rebel. I do remember that. Oh, that's not a good heart, that, is it? <laughs> anyway, just let's look at this monstrosity once more. What a terrible job this man has. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, first look at Dr. Doof. And uh, I honestly think they should reevaluate their options here. I mean, do you, do you honestly think looking at that is going to make anyone feel anything towards this this person? I know he's meant to be evil. Dr. Doof's evil incorporated. Wow, see, 
it just it just flows like that. It just starts rolling. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think of this man's massive forehead. Um, do you think it's fake? Is it artificially generated, or do you think that's genuinely what the human being looks like um, in his most highest powered form? You know, is this what he is and what he does? He looks like a uh, looks like a pear, doesn't he? An upside down pear. <laughs> Vinny Samburbra.